Hello guys, this is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, we're gonna continue uh, talking about the n plus one problem. Okay. Uh, in last video, I explained what is n plus one problem, and uh, uh, we're gonna have uh, several solutions to solve n plus one. And uh, this video just uh, intro, okay, to talk about what kind of solutions we have. Then we're gonna have videos uh, uh, for each solution. Okay, so n plus one happens. Yes. Yeah, so n plus 1, which means we have a query to select for the collection of the objects. And then we loop, and it's going to make small queries. Hibernate will execute small queries to retrieve related objects. The reason for that is because uh, Hibernate don't know how to fetch the objects. Okay, so he just make or execute small separate queries to do that, separate select queries. And uh, here we have uh, uh, four solutions for n plus one. Okay, two solution is dynamic. Okay, and uh, for dynamic solution, we have the first one is the NTT graph. This one is add in JPA 2.1, okay? And uh, what does entity graph do? We provide a graph and which is a hint to hibernate, which say, okay, when you create, uh, when you um, retrieve customer, okay, suppose we have customer, okay, when we retrieve customer, also using one query to fetch all related objects for me. Don't using sub queries, and the entity graph gonna using the uh, left out join. Okay, which is we ask in the entity graph we specif specify the related objects. When I fetch customer, what are the related objects? I also want to fetch with with this customer. Don't make separate queries. It's gonna using a join, join uh, multiple other objects, and also the maximum is join one collection. Okay, you give a hint to Hibernate. The second one is join fetch. The keywords, okay, join fetch. The different they are kind of like a similar. The difference between them join fetch you're gonna using in the join. Which means if I have a, a record uh, or a cell contains a noun and it's not gonna be in the result set of join fetch, but it's gonna it's gonna be in the result set of entity graph. Okay. Uh, for the two solution, they are part of the JPA. So Hibernate has like an open link or expli exp uh, Eclipse link. If you select other implementation of JPA, they should provide this feature too. And uh, for entity graph join fetch, they are dynamic. You can choose to use them. You can choose to not use them based on the queries you make. Okay, so you have full control on uh, on how to fetch object. You decide to use them or not. There are two others, which are static. Static means uh, if you have this configuration, they are always there. Okay, you cannot uh, turn it off. And uh, these two solution is provided by Hibernate, so it's not a part of JPA. The first one is called the batch size. Previously, we have an n plus one. It's gonna turn this n plus one into a uh, and multiply batch size plus one. Okay, so previously you have n plus one select queries. Now it will divide based on the batch size plus one queries. So it's gonna using something like a select something in. Okay, using in. So here gonna be the batch size. Okay, uh, this is one, and there's another one which is a sub select. Sub select will turn n plus one e to one plus one. Okay, one query is the same query, and here gonna using sub select query. 
okay, to find all the things and then using in, okay. So uh, for batch size and sub select, these two, uh, oh, sorry, not, not, not this annotation. This one is in the fetch and we specify to be the, using sub select. Both of them they are Hibernate extensions, and they are always there if you e enable that. If suppose uh, I only want to have one object, when we're using sub-select, you're going to select all of them. Doesn't care if you only need one or two, you will select all of them. For the batch size, if you only want to using one object, it will select uh, using the batch size. Okay, suppose your batch size three, it will select three. Uh, objects or entities. Anyway, uh, this is the intro. If you don't understand, don't worry. We're gonna have uh, videos for each of the solution. Okay, and uh, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.